the IMF in June projected a severe global GDP contraction in 2020. The picture today is less dire. We now estimate that the second quarter downturn was somewhat less severe than expected, allowing for a small upward revision in our global forecast for 2020. And we will continue to project for 2021 a painful and uneven recovery. Risk remain high, including from rising bankruptcies and sketched valuations in financial markets. And many countries have become more vulnerable. Their debt levels have increased because of their fiscal response to the crisis and the heavy output and revenue losses. We estimate that global public debt will reach a record high of about 100% of GDP in 2020. One reason why we see differentiated output. Where the pandemic persists, it is critical to maintain lifelines across the economy to firms and to workers, such as tax deferrals, credit guarantees, cash transfers, wage subsidies. Equally important is continued monetary accommodation and liquidity measures to ensure the flow of credit especially to small and medium-sized firms, supporting jobs and supporting financial stability. Cut the lifelines too soon and the long ascent becomes a precipitous fall. We work very hard to help countries put in place climate mitigation policies that combine investment in low carbon uh, transformation, putting a price on carbon with predictability for what this price is going to be over time as an incentive to, uh, to change. A precipitous fall. Third, flexible and- Some are still surprised uh, we, to see us working uh, on. Don't be surprised. The future has to be financially sound, but for that reason, it has to be environmentally and socially sustainable.